can make some very quick remarks. Well, thank you all so much for taking the time. Can you all hear me? Can we have some closure? Okay. Um, thank you, time out of your busy schedules because of the visit with us tonight. Um, most of all, first of all, I want to thank uh, Mayor Bill Joy, reporter, for helping put this together for us. He's been a huge supporter of cityhood, not only for us, but for many other groups. I also want to, uh, on behalf of all of us in the city, thank Senator Fran Miller, who was a rabid bulldog right, <laughs> throughout this process to help us um, to get to where we were. He, he fought for us, stood up for us when um, you know we had some folks who were our own representatives, our neighborhood, who, who were not uh, as interested in helping citizens get to where we had to be on November 4th. Um, all of you know about city of you have been so helpful to us as we've moved along these last three years. I can point to certain people in this room who have you know answered so many questions when we put together presentations, when we've gone uh, to testify uh, in front of the House and the Senate, and help answer questions and give us data and things like that. And we really look forward to that continued support and help as we, we are trying to get the vote to yes on November 3rd. Um, we want to thank you for your continued support. And I'm um, sure that the city of Vista Hills uh, next year, the mayor and city council, when they're elected in March, uh, will be just have some valuable information just from what we've learned from you in the last few years. Thank you so much. I want to bring Brad Wright, who is on our board, over just to talk a couple of minutes, because Brad has a really unique perspective being the son of a uh, the developer and just talking about what, you know, sort of what the vision I think we all have for what we want for us to do. Sure, and, and I want to thank Bill as well, and also just to recognize uh, Alan today. Uh, uh, Bill worked really hard to pull all of us together, and I think that one of the enduring things that came out of that process is that um, uh, Alan, Mary Kay, Kevin, me are all joined in the hill and, and ensuring that this uh, referendum passes. Uh, and uh, uh, we're, we're tasking ourselves out to try to build awareness, and this is one effort that we're trying to do to build awareness within those of you who work in municipal governments and in uh, county governments or work with them. And uh, as, as Mayor Kay and Kevin and I were talking about this, uh, my, my perspective is, is, is pretty neat in that uh, my grandson who lives in the, uh, and granddaughter that live in the footprint will be fifth generation of Vista Hills uh, citizens. Mm. Uh, my grandmother was in the Pea Ridge area when it was a very rural dairy county. Uh, and my dad happened to be one of those folks that came through in the late 50s and early 60s. And along with a, a, a groundswell of men and women who were dedicated to building a quality lifestyle and quality community, they built a lot of the residential housing that is within uh, the city of uh, La Vista Hills. And, uh, and I think that those, that housing stock is one of the factors that really gives us hope uh, and the opportunity to create the livable communities that we will see into my grandchildren's adulthood and into their grandchildren's life as well. My observations would be that um, we, we went through that suburbanization period and a lot of the decisions that were made by good men and women who were involved in elected office, um, the Leona Levitans, uh, the Benny Joe Williams, the Joe Burtons, uh, the Jim Tysingers, the Fran, he's old enough now. Where, uh, <laughs> Fran and I came in. I'm still living, just for yeah. the record. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Uh, uh, Fran and I came in to elected politics at the same time, me on the school board and Fran on the uh, uh, state house. And, um, and I think what we see is that those men and women are looking for the common good. And some of the decisions that they, they struggle with have protected our community as we move into this next chapter. And that those are things like, uh, our, although the traffic is complained about sometimes on La Vista and Briarcliff, if you go up and down those thoroughfares, you still see a quality that you will find in lots of other communities. We don't have a lot of, of, of strip of zoning, uh, strip malls, and to many those areas that we do have, and we've got more commercial opportunities than folks realize if we just go in and do some high quality 
um, updating and thinking about what the livable cities need to be as we move into the future. We've got places like Decatur that we can learn from where they brought their citizenry in to figure out what's, what needs to happen. We, one of the things that we're excited about for a, a mayor and a council to work on is the, the zoning and code enforcement. Uh, I believe that just paying attention to that and whether the cab's overwhelmed currently or doesn't see it as a value within our uh, new city, just being able to tend to that will ensure that uh, our housing stock and our um, and the, the new development that we and the redevelopment that we would have will be of a quality that will serve not only the Cab County well, the larger Metro Atlanta footprint, and the state of Georgia, and create the, the, the workforce and the workforce opportunities. So uh, I am uh, very bullish uh, on what we have to look forward to. What we're trying to do, and uh, efforts like this are to try to raise awareness, um, uh, not to um, be combative with those that have um, a, a dissimilar opinion, but really to try to get the word out and hope that the citizens that are well-educated in, in our footprint and in our new city will uh, take those facts into account and when all is said and done, they will go to the polls and they will vote in the affirmative. And on November 3rd, uh, we will have uh, a new city. I also work in Tucker, and most of my life I've lived in Wilbur Hills and worked in Tucker, so I am supportive of their effort to do that as well. Uh, bringing that uh, decision making to the local level and to those folks that are in the best decision to help uh, determine what's going to be in their best outcome. So glad to be here with you. If we've got questions, uh, please ask. Same, 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 same with Alan. Yes, uh, Mayor. Let me introduce yeah, a couple of people that are here. <laughs> uh, first of all, Kate, we have Patty Gary, who's a council member of the county. I want to introduce her. And also, Deborah Jackson, who is head of the DeKalb Municipal Association, the mayor of Lithonia. And Mike Davis, who's the mayor of Dunwoody, uh, are here tonight. And, uh, yeah, and, and we're just. Uh, you know, I'll say that the thing, as you become a city, uh, and I was a mayor for 20, 